it servers in such a small small space, and I could see even further architectures where we even get even even a higher density on this right here. You're talking about the need to do uh, quite a bit of different efficiencies all the way down to once again storage level, the I/O level at the at the NIC level, uh, the way that you interface you know through the SATA interfaces to the hard drives or to solid state storage. How do you optimize your solid state storage for for maximum uh, input output? You know how do you go ahead and set up your your uh, different tables in the storage, et cetera, all can take advantage of this architecture, but requires some changes in the software stacks. So we're going to need to be able to work together on that. So you mentioned also it's a changing mindset, different, yeah, I think differently. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Paul was talking about some of how cloud computing is becoming more the norm um, for yes. IT and IT as a service in particular. Yes. How is the partner program going to address those new things? We also heard from Linux, you mentioned those guys, um, and they're talking about how Linux moved from boxes to more of a systems approach. What's going to change in the partnership program for you guys? Anything different? Any different approaches you're taking? Well, I think the big change is we were fairly um, simple and straightforward from the standpoint of the um, of the of the solution builder program where we had either hardware available to go to your site at a you know either a discount rate or available to you or you could go ahead and dial in that part is similar except for the fact it was basically how does your stuff work on there and do you want to make some tweets or twick uh, you know tweaks to it tweets not tweets twits we tweet tweet we 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 tweet, tweeting we do we tweet tweets like and we tw you tweet we tweet that's easy for you to say <laughs> say that ten times fast yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah, no I think I'll pass on that. Um, in this particular case, though, the fact that we have this lab and we're focused on collaboration. So in the, in the previous program, you could be part of the program. Your stuff works. You make some adjustments to it. It's all great. Here we actually want you, if you're, if you're a Pathfinder member, we want you actually to be able to be a participant in the lab, working together with our customers and with other participants as well on running benchmarks, doing experiments, making adjustments, changing things. We'd like you to be there available for doing training uh, of your software stack to customers. We'd like for you to, to work with uh, other folks and be able, to be able to create different kinds of stacks that can solve different kinds of computing problems that will work both for if you're a large service provider or if you're an enterprise. What do you see as a, um, the mindset of a successful partner? Because obviously you mentioned those those factors do make a difference. There's a little more collaboration involved. Yes, yes. What's the profile of a partner? I mean, I see people out there trying to make business. There's a lot of business stuff, even like mm -hmm. we're broadcasting on Justin.tv. They have a pretty big back-end storage, and they're running at scale, and, and other, other companies out there might have developers. What would you share with the folks out there about how to be a successful partner in this new world? Do they have to organize their business differently, different uh, hiring kind of uh, criteria? What are you seeing that? What's the disruption and opportunity you've seen there? Well, I think the disruption... Or the opportunity, I think a lot of us are seeing, feeling, reading about is just the sheer scale of this kind of this kind of compute. I mean, I think that for a lot of us in the technology world who are maybe kind of geeky and 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 yeah, and my wife gets very annoyed with me with how many phones I like to buy and play with. And it's the problem. And, and, and <laughs> I, I see no problem with that. She seems to see an issue with it, but I don't, and everything like that. I think we see where all this is. It, is, is just starting to go. But, I mean, as Paul said, the numbers of folks who will have, you know, smartphones, who will be uploading, downloading information, creating information, we're, you know, the kinds of services we haven't even imagined yet. I mean, the number of applications I have, which, in, you know, include all sorts of different types of cloud-based services, it's just starting out. That's going to just be immense. So there's terrific, huge opportunities for ourselves, for partners, mm -hmm. for service providers, for People are going to uh, provide services on how you put all this stuff together for all sorts of companies. I mean, we can all name like the, the big tier, you know, search or the big tier news or the big tier social things. But there's another whole tier below that of, of, of very smart new companies starting out here and other places around the world where this is just going to take off. And so for the, for the folks who are going to be providing the hardware, for folks who are going to be providing the software stacks, the services, the opportunity to come to our lab, be part of our program, to collaborate and create the next stage of this environment, I think is just absolutely huge for everybody. So how do you prioritize and, and what's, the, what's the pitch to the, to the partners? How do, well, you, how do you target them, and then what's what's kind of your what's in it for me pitch? Well, I think first of all, uh, a lot of them are going to going to get a hold of us once they once they hear about this because they're going to see the opportunity. And we also know know folks that we're going to be reaching out to as well that we mm -hmm. think have a lot of value in this space. They either show that from their technolo technology standpoint, from a market presence standpoint, from a skills uh, capability that we would want to have 
part of this to solve you know a particular set of issues that we see need to be solved yeah you can't handle 300 tomorrow right so uh, well yeah i mean that as you said that inbox would get filled up uh, quite a bit and we're you know going to be opening the lab in the first quarter of in you know, 2012 and you know have the have the development platform so i think you know that's kind of somewhat of our of our getting things of going really big with this but we're already going to be starting to to bring people in on this and get this all prepared as you guys build it out, other incentives, there's in like a co-op program. You know, Intel has been very famous in the, in the old days, the old Intel and Cy, where mm -hmm. they had some little reimbursements. Is there going to be something similar that you guys are looking at in terms of uh, supporting folks? I mean, some of them might be emerging startups, like we heard the, uh, um, the ARM guys talking about. They're working with people, anyone who's going to put stuff in mm -hmm, Silicon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, if you look back at what we do as Solution Builder Program, we did a lot of, of, of joint promotion in that. In that. Um, so we did things like if we were at, at a conference or a trade show, we made sure that in our own booth that we would go ahead and say, when you go out around this 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 environment here or this event here, you know, look for folks who have the have this particular insignia, the HP you know, Solution Builder program. And in each one of those booths, we worked really hard to either have our equipment there or some other information along with identif identification, signage, everything that tied it all together. And the idea was, you know, not only joint promotion, which is good for us, good for those third parties good for customers because then they had some assurance that you know someone had tried the software before in this environment and it actually works yeah. and that was part of what we you know the value we, we the value proposition for customers is that somebody had actually you know plugged it in and saw what happened once yeah uh, so, uh, you know, I would expect that while we, you know, are, are still in the process of rolling this out, that we would be doing the exact same thing in this program here, uh, making, you know, joint promotion, joint, uh, you know, information so that people have some level of assurance that if someone's kind of got, like, you so know, the, the sticker. Really tell the mix, the but if they get the good, if they get, if they get the, hopefully not violating, violating trademarks here, but if they get the good housekeeping, you know, label and everything, customers will have, uh, and that will be a benefit for customers and, and for all of us, uh, that there's been some level of collaboration testing, and this is, a, you know, a good set of tools to work with this environment. How, uh, how global is the team? Is it primarily concentrated, at least in the early days, in the, in the U.S., or is it a, is it a worldwide initiative? Well, it's a worldwide initiative. Uh, we drive a lot of worldwide initiatives out of, out of Houston. That's where a lot of this work is going on right now, and that's where a lot of the folks are. But just like we did with Solution Builder, as we got the program up and going, we added more people to the team. You know, we're in, you know, uh, well over 140 countries around the world, so we have people in our different regions. Right. And then all those regions are important. You know, be here in America, be it in EMEA, be it in Asia Pacific, Japan. True, but I mean, a lot of the leverage points you're going to get out are going to be out of you know local companies. that talk about the Hadoop ecosystem. It's a lot of local guys, local being you know United States, right? And right here, leverage, and, and right here in California. Right? Yes, I mean, yes, that's yes. Sort of the. And it's early, too, for you right? guys, too. So you're putting it all together. It's going to get. You probably be listening to these guys more, find out what their needs are. Right. I mean, yeah, and we'll be bringing them into the laboratory there, the the, the labs, and and getting the things up and running. And uh, we've already got a lot of details on uh, behind the program already that we're already sharing with folks and uh, making adjustments and feedback on that as well. So my, we always want to make it better. My final question um, before we bring on the next next guest, uh, Dwight, uh, we we'll talk more about some of the technology uh, CTO like conversation. Is where do you want to be next year? It's looking back, I was this, this announcement, um, Moonshot, great name because we've heard it's been a journey, mm -hmm. beginning the, not the checkered flag, it's the green flag, getting yep. getting it going. Yep. Where do you want to be in a, in a year from now in terms of the the program? What do you envision uh, success being? Well, I think you know from from the from the HP Pathfinder program standpoint, will be you know well over a hundred, if not in the hundreds by that time. We'll actually have certainly some of the key leaders who are very actively involved with the HP Discovery Lab. Uh, actually, by that time, we you know will have the first commercial offerings rolling out. People will be actually be getting their feet wet with this, you know, seeing how it scales and actually starting to apply it for real life problems as as all this really begins to take off. And even then, we'll still be early, as you said, you know, the green flag and everything. We'll be early in the race. Uh, to use that analogy there, uh, but we should actually be at that point, uh, you know, everyone should be up at speed at that at that point. Okay, Mike uh, Kendall, manager of the partner program here for uh, Pathfinder. Um, great uh, to have you on the queue. Appreciate uh, your time. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and check that inbox too. See how, <laughs> how, how we're doing. I really appreciate <laughs> that. See, right. see, 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 they're see, lined nice up around the corner. Thank